Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. It's Boxing Day. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. We're heading up to the bivouac. I had no inclination to head to the bivouac, but my mother, right over there, say hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Decided she wanted to go in this four or five inches of snow and go to the bivouac. So who am I to complain? So huh? we're just coming down the, uh, the road and I'll just give you a quick view of what we're heading into. We're just about to go into there. It's really nice out. Beautiful winter wonderland. And uh, going to the bivouac, have a coffee. I'm gonna try out a new saw, I'll show you that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just uh, head up into the, uh, into the woods here. Okay, we've had a very entertaining walk down here. How you doing there, Ma? You're right on camera here. Make yourself look like you're not tired. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so it's actually been pretty funny. So uh, yeah, we're heading to the bivouac right now. It's right in front of us. And uh, I haven't seen it yet with all the snow on here. So we'll see how this is. That's some good snow cover. Good flow. Bridge seems to be intact. Oh well, here we are. There's a bivouac. <laughs> okay, mom and I are having a good time here. All right, bivouac looks absolutely intact. No issues at all. All right, so let's take a look inside. Whoa, how long have you been here? What's your name? Tired <laughs> mom. <laughs> no, she did actually pretty good. She did pretty good. You know what, she was laughing so hard she fell backwards. That was really <laughs> funny, by the way. All right, I'm gonna unpack all this stuff and, uh, and we'll go from here. Okay, guys, we're situated. Got the stuff unpacked, got the SKS today. And we got the 22 over there. Can't really see it with the smoke. My mom's gonna try shooting the 22 today. Uh, got a fire going. Got uh, the um, the pine on the bottom. And then did the uh, log cabin thing. Just fell down so you get to see the, <laughs> you get to see the bottom part. And we'll just put that all back up. There we go. Wood's pretty dry. I had a bunch of it set here, and uh, I'll show you how to use that. To, or show you that new silky saw that I got for Christmas for my wife. And uh, yeah, and then I'll show you my mom firing the 22. Should be fun. Okay, guys, we got the fire going here, and we're doing a couple of shots with the 22. And uh, here's my mom. All right, so here she is. She's getting ready to fire. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see the can, but I'll have a head cam on her here. And the can's way in the back there. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty far away, but you'll probably see it fall. Oh, she got it. Let's, let's cock again, Mom. And... All right, Annie Oakley. Bullseye. One more time. He's got it wedged. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> no, she's moved it twice, it's just not coming off the tree. That's got her. Got it. Good job. What do you think of firing a 22? It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's having a good time. Hey, right, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? watching my mom fire a 22. Um, okay, so she's just sitting by the fire now. <laughs> Got a nice fire going. We're gonna get her nice and high so it's nice and uh, nice and warm. And I just wanted to show you guys my Christmas present. Look at this. Isn't that something? Oops, that's me, sorry. <laughs> Look at that. A nice big boy 2000. And it's got a curved blade. And uh, I'll put you down here and I'll show it to you in action. It, uh, 
It's got the, the big teeth too, of course. And it, it goes through wood like butter. Check this out here. It's a... How's that, eh? Cuts through a, about the thickness of the blade in about 10 seconds. So, thanks Bridget. I really appreciate this. This is an awesome Christmas present. I got all sorts of cool uh, bushcraft stuff. I got um, uh, fuel, I got a pot, I got, uh, oh, just you name it. I'll be showing you guys what I got exactly uh, on some of my trips. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this on the fire, get that fire going really good and maybe make some cedar tea or some coffee. <clears throat> hey guys. Hey, I was gonna make um, some bannock. And uh, so I had a, I didn't have a pot with me, so I did it in this uh, cup. And uh, I put too much water in it. So I decided to change up the recipe. So this is what I got. There's a bannock recipe, which you can get online, you know, flour, um, baking powder, and salt, basically. And then I decided to put a package of beef bovril in it. And it was still too loose, so I took some of the mashed potatoes and made it thick enough to make one of these biscuits. And, wow, is it ever good? What do you think, Mom? They are delicious. Absolutely delicious. Where will it go? So I got one on the fire. Here. Oh, that's a little burnt. Just put the grill out and cooking it up. And it turned out really good. <clears throat> so yeah, a bannock recipe with a little bit of bovril, beef bovril to give it the salt and thicken it up with the mashed potatoes. And this is quite the hearty meal. Like a couple of these, you'd actually be pretty full, I think. Not bad. Well, I decided to take the uh, silky side here and grab some fatwood. And I put three pieces about the size of my, like a baseball maybe, on the fire. And this is what it's looking. This is a piece of fatwood here, a piece here, and a piece over there. And the, uh, the flame is actually going pretty good. It's probably about three feet high. It's going to keep getting higher and higher and higher. And uh, this stuff will burn probably for an hour or so. We've been putting wood on the fire for the last two or three hours. Small pieces like this, and it's been constant. So I grabbed some, some fatwood. And, uh, and it's hot, it's working out pretty good actually. And uh, that's the way you wanna go if you wanna keep the fire going and not do too much work. Let's just grab some fat wood and you're good to go. So yeah, we're having a good time. Having a good time, mom? Oh yeah, great way to spend Boxing Day. Only way to spend Boxing Day. So uh, yeah, we got the fire going, about fat wood on there. Uh, we finished having our um, mashed potato, bovril, bannock, bannock stuff. It was so good. It was really good. <laughs> So yeah, we're just having a great day together and uh, just thought I'd get you guys into a, uh, taking a look at this video. We had some coffee with some mint chocolate. How was that? That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just doing a little bit relaxing and thought I'd bring you guys along. Well, I think we're gonna get going pretty soon here. We got... Uh... No! <laughs> My mom wants to stay here forever. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll leave her here with some food <laughs> and just come back tomorrow for her. <laughs> um, so yeah, the fatwood fire is just doing great. Um, that's the way to go for sure if you need some kind of survival stuff going on. Uh, yeah, we're full. We've had our coffee. We've spent the whole day here. It's been awesome. And uh, we're gonna do a trek back. And uh, yeah, it's been a great boxing day. So you guys take care. Thanks for watching Vancouver Island Bushcraft. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And for those of you who are subscribed, uh, happy boxing day. And uh, you guys have a good one. Say goodbye, mom. Bye, happy new year.